Hi, my name is Manny Laureano. I play first trumpet for the Minnesota Orchestra, and I've been doing that for 40 years. I've loved the trumpet ever since I was a seventh grader. It's an instrument that is capable of so many things. It can play very boldly, as you just heard. It can also play very sweetly, play softly, very loud. Lots of things in the middle. The way the trumpet basically works is it starts here with the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is where I blow into and I create a buzz. It's kind of an odd sound, but that's the sound that we start with. And when you put it into the trumpet, the trumpet changes the sound, amplifies it into something beautiful. And using that combination of taking a breath, blowing it into the instrument, creating that buzz, you can make beautiful music with it. You can think of the trumpet almost like a bugle with seven different positions. When you push down the second valve, it makes it a little lower. If you kept count, those are seven different bugles that I use. Now, one of the things that's fun about playing the trumpet, as I said, is that you can play very loudly, like that first thing that I played, or you can play very soft and sweet. Something else that trumpets are able to do is to play very low and also play very high. That is called the range of the instrument. The distance that it can play from low to high is called the range. Now, that last note that I play, the high C sharp, is not as high as I can play, but for now, that is as high as I will play. Another enjoyable aspect of the trumpet is the different sounds that we can make with something called a mute. Now, the first mute I'm going to use is called a straight mute. makes it softer and makes it sound more distant, like it's coming from another place. There are many different kinds of mutes besides just this, which is called the straight mute. We also have something called the cup mute. Can you guess why? We put it over the straight mute. Now let's see how it changes the sound. It's different, isn't it? And it makes the, the trumpet sound almost like another instrument. You could almost uh, say that it's kind of flute-like. There are still more mutes. This is known as a Harmon mute. Almost makes it sound like a toy trumpet, doesn't it? Now you see this little 
extra opening here. When I use it, the Harman mute becomes a wah-wah mute. Now why would it be called a wah-wah mute? Well, let's see. I think you understand why it's called a wah-wah mute now. Now let's suppose that the orchestra is on tour. That's something that we do. We go to different countries, different states, different cities, so that, you, so that people can hear the Minnesota Orchestra. That means that we have to stay in hotels. Well, suppose we arrive at a hotel and the people next door to me all are tired and they want to sleep. I'm wide awake and I want to practice. Now, a trumpet playing in a, in a hotel room can be pretty loud. So we have something called a practice mute. So that sounds pretty soft, doesn't it? We want to try and keep the neighbors happy. I'm going to play what I started playing for you, which is from a Russian piece called Pictures at an Exhibition. And the section that I'm going to play is the very, very beginning of it, which starts with the trumpet. Um, the piece began as a piano piece, but a Frenchman named Maurice Ravel decided he wanted to change the piece and write it for an entire orchestra. So he decided the trumpet should start the piece off. And this is what it sounds like. I started playing trumpet in seventh grade in New York City. It was love at first sight. Having picked up the trumpet in school is one of the reasons that I'm such a supporter of music in the schools. It's like learning another language. Well, that's about as much about the trumpet as I can tell you in this short video. But next time you come to Orchestra Hall for a young person's concert, look for us. We'll be in the back playing our hearts out for you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at Orchestra Hall.